Welcome everyone to Wildlife Wednesday. I'm PJ with Zufit, and today is Penguin Awareness Day. So also Inauguration Day, but Penguin Awareness Day, yay! <laughs> so for today, what we're going to do is a special of what I call Ride the Raft for our penguins. That again, instead of Ride the Wave or a Time Ladder, we're going to be doing a what I call a ride the raft, and we're going to be focused all on penguin exercises. We've got three exercises for you today. Again, all penguin theme because it's Penguin Awareness Day. So let's dive right on in and get started. All right, for our ride the raft again, penguin a group of penguins in the water is known as a raft. For a ride the raft, we've got uh, a, a is the interval of training. So we're going to start small and gradually grow, and uh, or start high with our rest and gradually diminish. So we've got 15 seconds of work, and then 45 full seconds of rest. Then we go up to 30 seconds of work, 30 seconds rest. Then we're going to get into a little bit again, digging deep. 45 seconds of work, short short rest, and then a full one minute, 60 seconds of work, and then we get a full minute rest and start the cycle all over again for each exercise. And for the exercise, we've got penguin crunches. We've done these before, lots of fun. Again, working our abs. We've got some penguin swimmers. It's gonna work again the opposite side of our body and working our back a little bit. And then a really fun one that we're gonna end up with our penguin waddle. So let's go over these so we can have some fun with our penguin day ride the raft. All right, guys, for our first exercise, we're going to be starting on the floor. These are penguin crunches. We've done these plenty of times, talking about penguins, birds, all, all sorts of uh, penguins fit in all sorts of fun wildlife once they work out. We're going to start on the floor on our back. And then to perform our penguin crunch, we're simply going to reach our hand towards the same foot and crunching our obliques. So you can pick up your head. And that's, well, again, might be a little bit of a strain on your neck. That's perfectly okay, as long as it's not hurting your neck, that should be perfectly fine. But if it is, again, a little bit too much, you can't keep your head on the floor. But again, just reaching from side to side. So that's gonna be our penguin crunches. Our next one is called penguin swimmers. So this is gonna be, uh, again, kind of working, we worked our abs, now we're gonna work our back a little bit on our um, on our stomach and rather than our hands out our hands are going to be straight out in front of us and then we're going to raise up our raise up our chest and our arms and our legs and then kick so the key for this one really what's going to be tricky uh, for us is going to be doing this for the full duration of the of the time ladder so again 15 seconds it's gonna be gonna be a good a good stretch. Then we get 45 seconds rest. Then we're gonna be doing it for 30 seconds. So if you need to take a rest, take that rest, but then get right back to it for our penguin swimmers. And our final exercise for our our ride the raft workout is gonna be penguin waddle. So we're gonna really hit our glutes, working our legs with this one. And what we're going to do is I have a, a different a variety of options for you. You can use a, a again, actual resistance band. This is great for your, uh, for around your legs. Which one do you want? The blue one. We also have some thera, thera bands. Um, these are actually called thera bands. Get them from your physical therapist. Um, you can actually even stop by a physical therapist's office and ask for some of these. Uh, they, they, they may sell it to you or some of them may even just give it to you. <laughs> so you can grab one of these. Um, something that a lot of people may have access to are some, uh, we, I call these pull-up bands. They're just, again, slight resistance bands. You can, again, use these, stepping in on, on top of them and then holding on to the top of the band. Or you can use um, another popular at-home workout equipment piece, which is another type of resistance band, tubings. 
and use the exact same way. So I'm actually going to use these just for demonstration. Chris is going to be using the bands for demonstration. And again, stepping into these, pulling them up to my chest so I have some pretty good resistance. So what you're going to do if you're wearing a band, see how Chris is putting his on, you're going to go around the ankles. And then once again, for me, I've stepped on top of this, the tubing and bringing the handles up to my, my waist, up to my hips. To do a penguin waddle, well, we're actually gonna be doing a walking forward. So we're gonna swing our legs in and then walk forward, swing our legs in and then walk forward. So this can get a little tricky with this band. Just walk again, very super carefully. Once again, we're not counting reps. What we're doing is going for duration of time. So if you do run out of space though, you can go backwards the same way. Again, bringing this leg in, scooting it back out towards, towards the rear, scooting it in and coming back out. So once again, 15 seconds, 30, 45, and then a full minute on the penguin waddle. Um, just to give you again, another, another indication I'll do it with the red band. This is, I'm holding up pretty high. This is a really low resistance. So I'm gonna be bringing this up high. If you need to hold the band up at your waist, you do what you need, what feels right for you. But again, we're swinging the leg in towards the other leg and then walking forward just a little bit, swinging it out. So it's kind of like um, a little bit of like the Karate Kid, wax on. Wax off, <laughs> but with our feet. <laughs> so this is gonna be our penguin waddle uh, for, for a penguin wrap. And that's it, guys. Three exercises, 15 minutes of work, total fun for our Penguin Awareness Day. Right? You guys ready? Let's get started. Hey everyone, um, just wanted to give you guys a, an update on where we are with uh, with ZooFit and particularly with Wildlife Wednesdays. This was unfortunately going to be the last Wildlife Wednesday uh, posted on YouTube that for for the foreseeable future. Um, this was again kind of a difficult decision for me because I absolutely adore doing Wildlife Wednesdays. Have a lot of fun sharing some animal facts getting us, connecting us to animals in a healthy and positive way. However, with the many, many projects that we are doing here at ZooFit, did feel that it was necessary to do some, some chopping <laughs> of killing some of my darlings. And unfortunately, that is going to be Wildlife Wednesdays for the foreseeable future. However, because this is one of my darlings, I am going to still continue to I post some Wildlife Wednesdays on our Patreon page. So if you like to see more Wildlife Wednesdays, if you want to participate, then I invite you to uh, to to join the Patreon, join the ZooFit Wild Things or the ZooFit Tribe, um, and again get and keep up with us with Wildlife Wednesdays. We'll be posting at least one workout a month and one recipe a month on that Patreon page. Until then, again, we have some, again, still, ZooFit's still gonna be super active. We still have Fandom Fitness Fridays, we have our Zoo Notables, and the ZooFit Safari Challenge. If you wanna learn more about that, check out our website at zoofit.net, and the link is in the description down below. Once again, guys, love learning, love Wildlife Wednesdays, and again, we'll see you guys in the future. Remember to keep eating clean, living green, Training positive. We'll see you guys next time.